Welcome back everybody to Will It Survive and the first vehicle of three that we're going to be taking out on this uh, 12th episode is a uh, the Burnside uh, Custom uh, but I've changed the engine a bit to make it a little bit faster and a little bit more powerful so it's got a supercharger, it's got a new engine block and uh, yeah it should hopefully uh, be quite a quick vehicle on uh, this series so uh, yeah let's uh, see what it can do now obviously being an old car and not having much in the way of suspension or grip, it's a little bit difficult to get under control. Not helped by the camera moving there. It's really struggling for grip on the rear end, but as you can see we're doing 180 off the uh, line there, off the ramp, and now we're spinning. And now we're going to crash and probably break a whole lot on this car going that quick. I never expect the first go to uh, result in a uh, survivable f uh, vehicle but yeah this definitely isn't going to be I've already lost two wheels on one side and we're not going to lose a lot more once we uh, come into contact with whatever else we're going to hit Which, namely is going to be this little lip here and then water we didn't actually uh, go all that way in, to be honest, but yeah, there's no way that this is moving. Oh, it is. What? Well, it lives. Sort of. Kind of. The water is kind of acting as a uh, natural anchor to it, so we'll just drag it out well and truly. Yeah, that front wheel looks pretty knackered. So don't wants to move and it would be able to move if it still had another rear wheel but yeah the suspension the chassis and everything else is catching on the floor stopping it from being able to go any further so uh, let's try and uh, break at the end of the well, before we hit the end of the ramp see if that makes any difference would it It caused a bit of damage to it to start with by hitting the wall as we were coming down. Turn the engine off just because it looks like we're going to hit the water. Did so us quite down quite well before, but not this time. That we're hitting the walls both sides, and yeah, we've not got any steering left. So we ain't going to be getting out of here, even though the vehicle itself, I still think it works. Yeah, that would work, but we have no steering. Right, let's try and uh, coast it down this time. We'll probably get up to about 120 as we hit the before we hit the ramp. Well, there's 120. Just hit 130 there. It's not the smoothest of landings, but it's still intact for the most part. Turn the engine off again, just in case water. We're going to hit a wall. It's not going to be nice. Oh. Luckily the water has helped us that time around. So even though we have undoubtedly lost a wheel, we should still be okay. about the exhaust. Only keeps the car from sounding as good as it can. Mm -hmm. 
come on, get off the lip. It's a problem with these lower cars. Once they lose their suspension, they are quite undrivable over anything that even resembles terrain. Still works. Can we get out of here? That's a question. It's got the barest of steering. The most minimal of that steering, should I say. Stick it into a higher gear so we can uh, get this thing under control. That's the wrong button. You can make it. Barely any steering, but you can make it. There we go. Yeah, would not make it over that pavement. It's so low down with all this chassis dragging and everything. But the Burnside has survived for times the charm. But yeah, it's done it. Barely. As you can see, this wheel here is yeah fairly loose. It's not really going to be doing much in the way of steering anymore. Yeah, it's only able to keep the car going straight and most of the time it's pointing outwards. Uh, the other wheel is fairly okay. Just steering both ways pretty much but yeah the car has taken a lot of damage there but the main components, the driveline, the steering and the engine have survived which is all that matters. So uh, yeah let's uh, move on to the uh, second vehicle for this episode and we are going to get in something that's a mod. I've only seen it come on recently but it might well have been around a while. Uh, the airport ladder fire truck based on the Gavel T series, but yeah, it's got a ladder, it's got more body work, it's infinitely heavier than the normal T series. So uh, this should be a uh, pretty spectacular vehicle to crash. I hope it's not going to be all that quick, uh, so we're going to just stick it in neutral and let it glide because yeah, these things typically have very low uh, top speeds. So just let it glide, let its momentum and weight take it down. It'll be going far faster this way than it would if we were just to use the engine. And at the end of the day there's no risk of blowing it up by doing this. What a sight. Well, we'll come crashing down. Bodywork is moving, the ladders have come away. They'd have been a bit better attached, to be honest. And we're gonna go on our side, are we? Here we are. Oh, no, we're not. Fire truck has stabilised. Now it's coming at 150 miles an hour towards a wall. And those wheels are very exposed, and so is the engine, to be honest. There's not much in the way of bodywork, so... Yeah, oh dear, engine broken, lost a wheel. Luckily just missed out on that post there, but... There isn't going to be much left of this vehicle. We've lost both wheels now in the front. Slammed into the tower. The fuel tank has gone on fire, but now it's gone in the water, so it doesn't matter. But regardless, yeah, this is a wreck. We've lost two of the wheels at the rear. We've lost both wheels at the front. We've lost the engine. And, uh, yeah. The chassis is banana so that is a uh, catastrophic failure there. So let's see if we can break at the end and see if that makes any difference. Is it not downshifting? Oh. Let's try again. For some reason it didn't want to downshift there. <sighs> no idea what is going on. Why is this not downshifting? 
keep it in first and see if that helps. These gearboxes do seem to be a little bit temperamental at times. Fine, we'll turn the engine off. That's the way you want to play it. There we go. Apologise for that, but for some reason it just wasn't wanting to work. Let's try and break. There we go. Let's see if that helps. Oh dear. Oh, we've bounced and we've bounced again because of that. Immediately lost the ladders and now we're all going to roll over this time. But I'd rather land on all of this bodywork above the chassis, above the engine, above the wheels and drive line and everything else. So that's not going to uh, affect any of the mechanicals being like this, hopefully. Dug into the sand, we're rolling onto the wall, not good. Oh, fuel tank has ruptured. But it has stopped us dead from going any further, thankfully. And luckily it's only one of the fuel tanks. Let's get rid of that so we don't burn any more. Gone with you. Right, now we're just going to try and pull this out. Oh, don't be stuck. There we go. Fear we do not have the traction though, do we? Why aren't we able to reverse? I think the chassis might be bent a fair bit. Let's just get us out of the sand. Well, we have the mildest of forward momentum, or none at all. Something is wrong with the chassis that is not letting all of the wheels be on the floor at the same time. See, this wheel is not connected to the floor. Why has that happened? Suspension failed completely. Yeah, this is not wanting to move. Not with any uh, ease, that's for sure. Yeah, that wheel looks slightly angled and yeah, quite wobbly. That's a shame. Clearly, the diff isn't able to handle the fact that there's only uh, one section of the wheels working and not all of them. Let's try and break a little bit better, so we don't bounce a second time. Keep the speed up enough to clear the first hump and then at least have enough to uh, yeah, do that. Oh no, that's done the same thing. I fear this is what did the wheel in last time. There is a lot of weight there going down on those, that suspension and those wheels. A lot more than the normal T-Series will be dealing with, that's for sure. And we've lost a wheel. Both front wheels. Ah, damn it. Right, third time's the charm. I think this is the third time. <laughs> right, let's uh, try and not get that hump landed on. I think 120 might be enough. Yeah, 
there we go, that's better. Clean landing on the uh, slope there. Have to break then, just to stop the engine from exploding. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, the fire truck is a little bit too heavy and has way too much momentum even. If we break at the uh, ramp there, and as you can see, we turn into a banana again. So yeah, the fire truck is not the successful one this uh, for this episode. So finally, we're going to go for something again, completely different. We're going to go for the S car Egos and uh, the RE all-wheel drive version. Not all that much in the way of horsepower and torque, but being all-wheel drive should hopefully mean that if we lose one drive line, we'll at least have another in reserve. So uh, yeah. All-wheel drive does make this quite sprightly, despite only having 129 horsepower. So 169 off the uh, ramp there. I'm fearing that this lightweight hatchback isn't going to be able to take this very well. Oh dear. Doing some acrobatics with the air there. Well, apart from the bodywork, seems to have landed intact, engineering-wise or mechanical-wise. But now we're going backwards, so uh, brace yourselves. Oh, everything in the rear went there: fuel tank, tyres, drive line. But it is still front wheel drive, so it should be able to move. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Who needs a rear end? Brakes are fading and the fuel is draining, but come on, we can make it. we can't. The engine's locked up. God damn it. Well, the front half did survive, but the rear half let us down there, so uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to brake at the end. Because, yeah, 169 mile an hour off that ramp was far too much. What the hell happened there? The car randomly uh, started to spin. I'm going to have to restart that, I'm afraid. I do apologise for that. For some reason, the car, maybe the ABS was trying to keep the car in line or stop it from going so fast for some reason. Well, now we're doing a front flip rather than a uh, spin. As long as that means we only land on the bodywork and nothing mechanical, I'm fine with that. Oh, rolling. Heading for the wall at 50 ish mile an hour. Gonna be pretty. Oh. That should be a survivable crash, surely. We've lost a drive line, but hopefully not both of them. Nope, just the rear. Why is the car not steering? Ah, oh, we've lost steering on one of the wheels and it's not letting us turn properly. Tell you what, goodbye. See if that helps. And no, because now the diff isn't working. God damn it. We are in better condition than last time, but unfortunately, losing that front wheel, not just in terms of steering, but also driving, uh, was... Well, I think actually it wasn't working just in terms of steering. It still had power. So uh, that's why we weren't able uh, to uh, turn around or anything. But then as soon as I pulled it off, obviously we no longer had the uh, diff to be able to deal with it, so uh, that's why it wouldn't drive anymore, so uh, it's either power or no steering really. Slide on your roof. That's 
not going to be very damaging. So we go sideways and then dig in the dirt. Lost the drive shaft again. Do we still have the wheels? It looks like we do. I think we survived. Yes, we survived. Despite being quite a violent crash there with all the rolls and everything, and obviously landing on our roof, uh, we uh, have survived. So, two out of three ain't bad. So there we go. The fire truck, the uh, yeah, the fire truck did not survive. The uh, burn side did, and so did this little hatchback, despite being extremely lightweight, quite fragile, and uh, yeah, surprisingly quick. Uh, but yeah, even with its losing its fuel tank and pretty much its whole rear end, it still managed to limp a little bit. But obviously, a car is going to put a lot of strain on its engine and other mechanicals while dragging its rear end around. So. Yeah, it's no surprise that it uh, died, and it would have eventually died with a lack of fuel as well. So, uh, yeah, but third time's the charm, and it survived eventually. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Nonetheless, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.